My name is Georgia Moline, and I feel so honored to be talking with you guys today. I wish I could be there, but last minute I had um, asked to do a meet here in Copenhagen. So I guess it's just kind of the nature of my job. But nonetheless, I still wanted to share my story with you on how the Washington Elementary School District has impacted my life. I went to John Jacobs, and in fifth grade, I started to have a real passion for school. I was always a pretty good student, being that if I got anything lower than a B, uh, I wouldn't get rewarded with chocolate of some sort from my mom, so that was always a pretty great incentive. <laughs> Although dessert is an easy way to bribe me, my love for school really came when I stepped into Mrs. Bonnet's fifth grade classroom. When I first saw her, I was convinced she did marlin on the side or something. Everything Mrs. Bonnet did, I wanted to do too. For Christmas, I made my mom buy me a pointer, just like the one Mrs. Barnett used for the overhead and the whiteboard. Um, and I also made sure my mom bought me a whiteboard, too. <laughs> uh, what really intrigued me and made me love this woman so much was her passion for teaching. Even as a 10-year-old, it wasn't complicated to understand that my teacher loved what she did. She went out of her way to show me that she cared about me and the other students by taking different learning approaches. I was a shy girl growing up, and even if I didn't understand something, I wouldn't ask questions with a fear of being made fun of. Somehow Mrs. Bonnet knew this and she had a sixth sense or something because she would come over to me and ask how I was doing and made sure I was on track. It was important to me that she asked. I really needed that. Her patience, understanding, and warmth is what allowed me to succeed. So thank you, Mrs. Bonnet. Um, in eighth grade, I was eager to just get through the year, graduate from Mountain Sky, and get to high school. There was one huge hurdle in my way, however, and that hurdle was social studies. <laughs> Geography and social studies has always been a subject I struggle with. I'm not a fan and had never been a fan of doing something I'm not good at. Little did I know, social studies was about to be my favorite subject that year, and it's all because of Mr. Christensen. The fact that I had fun in, in his class scared me because I never correlated the two, much less used those two words in the same sentence. <laughs> um, quizzes were actually my favorite thing that year because that meant we got to play a game. We had to fill out a sheet and correctly find all the answers by looking in our books. We had up until the day before the quiz to finish it. The game was used to go over the sheet and make sure we had all the correct answers to study. It was a must for me to find all the right answers because being that I have a competitive spirit, I needed to win. <laughs> Needless to say, I often won and aced social studies that year. So Mr. Christensen may not have known it at the time or even know it now, but he forced me to focus on my weaknesses so that it became my strength. So thank you, Mr. Christensen. Not only does Washington Elementary School District have the best teachers out of all the school districts, but we have the best faculty members in general. Our schools are by far the most beautiful because of our janitors and maintenance people. It gives you a sense of pride when your school is beautiful. Sunset Elementary is a great example of a school with pride. This campus is always immaculate. Everything seems to always be in order. It's easy to understand why my mom loves her job so much. Growing up, she wasn't the most popular kid in school, but no worries because she seems to make up for it now. <laughs> I'm convinced it's the chocolate she gives the kids to bribe them the same way, same way she bribed me. <laughs> but really, overall, it's easy to say that I was in the best school district there was. A diploma doesn't make you a great teacher. A connection and love for the kids is what makes a difference. Whether you're working hard in the cafeteria to feed the kids every morning and afternoon, stopping traffic to make sure the kids get home safely, in the office, ensuring everyone who enters a school is not a threat to the children's safety or a teacher who is spending before and after school hours to re-explain a lesson to a child who needs some one-on-one -on -one time, you are all the reason why the WESD is the best school district around, hands down. Thank you to all of you for all you do. And thank you so much for having me and for allowing me to share my story with you guys.